What's up everyone, Tim Almond Jr. here, Mom Asylum. Welcome to my channel. Um, like and subscribe if you want. And thank you to those that are subscribed. But today I got something fucking special. Not really. But I went to McMinimins over in Clackamas, next to the town center in, up near Portland. I guess technically it is Portland, but I, best experience ever. If you haven't been to a McMinimins, um, the atmosphere is great, but this one in particular, I mean, it's pretty much next to the fucking Clackamas town center. And, hmm. It's a 10 out of 10. Well, when I went there, it was. I had a blackberry cider, and then I had a, I want to say it's a mango ginger. And both were amazing. But I bought a four pack from them. And I want to say they were like three forty nine dollars each. So, almost $16 I spent on them. And it's a uh, Edgefield Watch apple cider. Now, I believe the other two were also Edgefield. And they were by the glass. I want to say I paid like six bucks a piece for each. Um. But I got these ones to go. So. Um, but I do highly recommend checking out McMinimins. I had a uh, mushroom Swiss. Oh my god. It's the best mushroom burger I ever fucking had. So definitely. Definitely check them out. Um, well let's get into this. See what this tastes like. Everyone's asleep right now. I heard an alarm go off, so I think someone's waking up. <sighs> so it smells like your typical apple cider. Uh, 186 calories. A lot, yeah. Fourteen grams of carbs. Yeah, quite a bit. So it's six point two percent alcohol by volume. Um, so it's from Edgefield Winery, Troutdale, Oregon. And it's funny, I've never been in Troutdale. So mm -hmm -hmm. ingredients: Northwest apple juice. Sugars, malic acid, and sulfites. So this is uh, aromas of fresh apple and pie spices. Float over fresh apple flavors, dominated by hints of pear and honey, bright on the tongue. This classic cider is crisp and refreshing with its sweetness balanced by lively acidity. McMinimins has been crafting cider to serve in our pub since 1992, offering clean, crisp flavors that highlight the bounty of the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. So this is one pint. It's gluten free. It's got cool little demons on it. Yeah. Um, a sticker. It's a Portland thing, I'm guessing, because almost every 
part when the thing untasted has a sticker with the, just an aluminum can. So let's get into it. Actually, really good. And the fact that it's 6.2 makes it even better. Yeah, when I walked out of the bed, I had a good buzz going, and I only drank two glasses. So, um, highly recommend that you try it. This beverage is delicious. I thought I was going to stack it up next to something. I would probably stack it up with the uh, like an angry orchard. Just because it, it holds its own all the way through. Super delish, yeah. You guys gotta check it out. Um, I'm not sure if they sell this anywhere else. Um, I, I've yet to see it in any stores. Um, in any of the stores I went in in Clackamas, that's not saying that they don't sell them in there, but I got this specifically from McMinimins and I'm guessing that this is a McMinimins company it's producing canned by McMinimins Inc. Israel Winery so yeah so it's it's it's, ugh, it's exclusive so definitely go pick them up I'm giving this a 9.5 Go check it out. And you guys have a great day. Now fuck off.